lovely ones welcome back to wellington witch i'm laurian and it's a pleasure to bring you the next seven days in seven cards um or seven cards for seven days whichever way you like to say it this is basically going to be live shuffling followed by some spirit guidance with this one and we're hoping to sort of get an understanding as to how best to manage the week ahead i hope everyone's doing well hope everyone's you know at least managing with the current situation that we're in um i know sometimes it can be very difficult to kind of keep your head above water in these situations not that we've been in a hundred percent like this situation before but fingers crossed you are doing okay my lovely ones if you would like to leave any questions or any requests for videos down below please do i have much more time than normal um in order to do these readings for you guys as well as personal readings thank you for your inquiries about those um so and as for me just in case anyone's concerned or anything because they know you know where i am and you know my cats and stuff we're all fine we're all okay we're managing and um self-isolation is pretty much what i was doing before so i'm fine but i just hope everybody else is doing okay as well so without further ado let's have a look and see what the next seven days brings for you or for us all really this is a collective reading already you want to come through Okay, I get the feeling that you want to come through. You want to be Wednesday. Okay. Um, so let's see. You want to be there. You want to be there. Oh, the bottom wants to come through as a spiritual card. And then you want to come through as that one. Okay, so I have to go basically on what they say to me. Um, as you can see there, I basically obeyed <laughs> what they were asking me to do. Um, so let me just get these in an order for you. So I wasn't planning on going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but this one definitely wants to be Wednesday. So fingers crossed, it's some good energy coming through. We are only on the 2nd of April. Um, already it feels like a month. <laughs> um, so hopefully the things will improve. However, the first day i do okay so whenever you're watching this i do feel like this is going to be timeless okay i i feel like this is going to be a timeless seven days however that definitely wanted to be a wednesday so whenever you're watching this if you're if you're, for instance if tomorrow's wednesday that is your card okay that is the day for wednesday so day one eight of cups for this i do see a change i do see movement and most of all i see escapism so you may just need to take time in the first day, in the next seven days, start it off fresh week or just consider tomorrow a fresh start. Do your best to leave things that are weighing on your mind behind you. Do your best to tidy things up, put them in a neat little box in the back of your mind and just do whatever needs to be done to kind of keep you in the forward momentum. You don't want to be stuck. I know of many cases we are stuck but I mean emotionally and energetically stuck you need to be doing something to make you feel like you are forward moving forwards whether that be doing a bit of gardening looking up how to grow your own vegetables reading the pile of books that you've abandoned for the last year which is something I've been doing um, and just something that feels like you're doing something productive maybe finally getting to clean out that closet of yours I just feel that you're choosing on the first day of this brand new seven days to put something behind you to say you know what I'm not having that anymore I'm leaving that to one side and I'm actually choosing to go forwards and change because this is about disappointment as well obviously you may be very disappointed 2020 is not turning out to be your year or anyone's year for that matter and there's a great sense of emotional upheaval in the world as it stands so I do feel that this is definitely something that is going to play a part in your emotional well-being. So you're definitely going to have to move forward at some point more. We'll start off the week on your best foot. Mm. Day two. This is very much a sign with the high priestess that your unconscious awareness is trying to tell you something. So there's a mystery to be explored here. There's something that may be feeling like, you know, you're being called to do something in particular. I feel as though there's, there's 
some introspection coming here. It's almost like as soon as you decide to move forwards and put things behind you, like the Eight of Cups says, you start getting more psychic intuition. There's something that is able to finally come through to you now that you've you know, done focusing on the news and focusing on everything else. I do feel like reaching out to people is probably going to be something that also helps you, like sending a message to family maybe that you haven't seen in a while, um, just going, you okay, if you haven't already, even friends and stuff. But with this high priestess, I do feel there's a potential for you to uncover something, um, maybe deepen your relativity to your spirituality, deepen something that is quite... I'm trying to think of the word. They're not coming to me with the word. It's it's quite deep, but there's also something that is just you're just scratching the surface of this, and I feel like it's not jumping into a whirlpool of emotions. It's something that your psychic self is wanting to tell you. So let's see what Wednesday wants to come through. Day three or Wednesday. Oh, the Emperor. Okay. He comes forward with structure, authority very, very um, secure. I mean, in Wednesday is named after Odin, so it could be Odin's, Odin Day coming in here. Um, so this could be education, teaching yourself and being quite stern with yourself, getting real about things. It could also be that you are having to look at the father element of your life. Um, for instance, maybe there's something from the past um, to do with your father that you're trying to put to rest or you're trying to explore or just the fact that your spirit, maybe your father's in spirit and he may be coming through. I just get this feeling of something very big and not heavy but very stern around this point is coming in for you here. It just feels like you're getting real. So you've had all this, oops, you've had all this thought and you've had all this, oh, you know, kind of like psychic development. And then the emperor comes in to say, you know what, this is definitely going to be something that you need to focus on. This is where you need to get real. This is where your authority comes out. This is where your structure comes out. And maybe you're building something new. Maybe you're educating yourself on how to make something or maybe making yourself a flow chart or, or a schedule or something that you can set your goals towards. Something very serious on Wednesday, very powerful. Odin himself is incredibly powerful. He brings forward all this um, messages from, you know, the afterlife and things, and he communes with spirit. He has his ravens. So there could be something around that that you're trying to get to grips with. Day four. Mm. Okay, getting serious before everybody else starts off. Um, so day four, it could bring in a little bit of conflict, a little bit of tension. So many different people could be fighting. I've seen it online so often. I've had to just switch off Facebook a lot of the time. <laughs> and I just spend like half an hour on Twitter whenever I go on. Um, but this just feels like everybody's got a different opinion. Everybody's trying to slam it to you to be kind, but also rip this person who doesn't be kind or... It's very, very overwhelming and all-consuming when you look at things online nowadays. It's just never one fluid thing. It's just everything hitting at you 500 miles an hour. This could be, though, that some people are trying to drag you into drama you do not need. And the diversity, sorry, the adversity that you are finding is that everything is battering you from all angles. Like, you're supposed to be worried about this and this and this and this and this and this. You have no time. Nobody has any time. To be dealing with all the stuff that is being thrown at us. So what you need to do is decide what is important for you to deal with and deal with it then and then go on to the next thing. This could also be people having arguments and general discourse within a group of people. So if you've been isolating with several people um, for some time, you could start to see tensions and tempers fraying a little bit. Um, so just try and even yourself as much as you can. Maybe somebody doesn't like you putting down the ground rules. Maybe kids that you've been trying to homeschool, you're like, you know, I need you to do this. And they're like, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, and they're rebelling. Um, but I do think there's something that is going to test your patience around the fourth day. But then I do feel it, yeah, I do feel it clearing the air. I feel like this is also, the Ace of Wands 
it's kind of an understanding of where this structure is taking you you start to see um a new beginning so almost like okay i'm going to do my tried tested example if you're trying to write a book okay you're gonna have to leave all the stuff behind you you cannot be creative when the weight of the world is on your shoulders so what you need to do is switch off certain elements you know still keep the line open for loved ones but you need to switch off the elements that are causing you grief and psychic draining then we go on to understanding your intuition maybe generating some ideas getting your subconscious working so it can filter through the images and messages that you're needing to understand and hear you then start to get some structure you know all four as well is very much about stability so you're having to get some structure set some ground rules even with yourself and go look this is the new schedule that I'm going into you're going to be immediately tested with that structure okay this is not even if you're writing a book by the way this is for everybody but I will get to that in a second um so you may be tested on that structure the new rules that you're laying down for yourself maybe people who just think oh yeah you're gonna go off for an hour and do your own thing I have something I need you to do for this precise moment and you just need to say look I need this time to myself or I need to do this for myself on the sixth day hang on one two three four fifth day sorry numbers aren't my strong suit I have to say <laughs> um so on the fifth day this gives you enough inspiration enough creation and enough potential for the weight to be lifted off your shoulders and you say look I need to do this once that is resolved then you're able to go and understand the fluid motion in which it is actually working for you you'll be able to tweak things get more energy so for instance again if you're writing a book you say one hour a day I need to write somebody may not understand that importance to you but this is where your creativity flows as soon as you get that structure going for that hour or even during the day you will understand the energy that's coming through and you'll be able to work that similar to any other thing that you think of is applicable to this okay so day six. Ooh, another ace okay so clarity power of vision truth and victory so you do feel like you've had a big accomplishment this week and i see this co accomplishment coming in very much so as well i see this building to a certain point where you probably feel a lot of kind of pent up something like a pot bottle's been shaken and there's just something under the surface it's wanting to burst out i feel like you have to take off the tap take off the top here put it to one side let yourself explode a bit and then decompress and then carry on and it just feels like as soon as you've done that you're able to sort of put your mind and your energy to a certain direction and focus in on that direction so it doesn't feel like the time you're spending you know at home or you know worried about stuff you're actually focusing energy in a purposeful and positive way and I feel like this is very important for all of us right now obviously but it's also going to help you in the movement towards something new or the moment towards when everything's over this is a huge cultural reset we're all going inwards we're all being forced to view things from a very different way reevaluate or sorry reevaluate what we value and see how we're working in opposition to or in positive of that particular value and so i think this is very much a case of you having understanding your situation and progressing in whatever area you choose to progress around this time okay oh knight of pentacles this is very much forward motion this is taking the messages that you receive and the insight and the lessons you receive and doing something fun or doing something fundamental <laughs> with it so this is efficiency this is routine you finally feel like you're getting into a sort of i'm getting the the image of a steam train and the cogs of the train like and it's just gradually building steam and i think this is where you start to really kick down the door of any barriers that have been previously placed either in your mind or other aspects you get maybe some inspiration as to bills you get some inspiration as to how to make money on the side or how your house is supposed to be fundamental things like the, the basis the podium as to which you're building your life on you, you kind of see things now for clearing the deck 
for some reason, I'm seeing stone floor that's been completely overgrown with weeds. Much like my garden <laughs> over winter. Um, but it's just like a store, a stone floor and then it's just grass and everything. And you cannot possibly build on that because, you know, it's going to be uneven. It's going to be grass in places where cement needs to go or, you know, bricks. So I'm seeing like you're clearing away. This week you seem to be clearing away all that kind of things that, which are kind of bumps in the road. And you're actually able to cement that down and build something positive or metaphorical. So your spirit message. Yes, basically everything that I've just said. This is a release from the old. This is definitely a revelation. You're clearing the path. This entire situation is a reset, like I said. What we've been holding on to that is too or too much against ourselves you know something that is too pressed against us that is too not in our best interest that's being ripped out from under us now now we're focusing on the value we want to you know raise ourselves towards so i think this is this is definitely the underpinning or the undercurrent pinning this week down or this next seven days you're resetting yourself okay so i'm just going to use these cards for a little bit of a, an additional guidance If you can hear kids, by the way, that's just my neighbours who are very bored and can't go anywhere. <laughs> Poor things. Okay. That's another thing, by the way. We have no outside stimulus. It's all, you know, we can't go, oh, we need to go here, we need to go there, we need to go here. We've been forced to kind of sit and go, hmm, are we happy with ourselves? Are we happy with the situation? What can we change? What can we improve? We are literally being forced to consider ourselves. Some people will find that easier than others. Some people will desperately look for ways and outlets to experiment and things and just forget the element of who they are. So you need to be careful of that if you feel compelled that way. Ooh, so the first one, strength. When your roots are deep, you need not fear the storm. Definitely this guy. Um, so I feel like this is basically a message for anyone who's been struggling and thinking, oh no, I can't possibly. You deepen your roots, ground yourself, understand that you are more than what the outside tells you you are. You are a very strong, very integral human being on this planet. And then we have humility. Ooh, flowers are unaware of each other's beauty. They bloom regardless. Judgment has to stop. And um, that's why I'm thinking this here, because everyone's like, this and this and this, and you're not doing enough for the cause, and you, you... There's a lot of judgment going on. There's a lot of issues that we're having at the moment. But you have humility and understanding that everyone is the same here. We, we can see that celebrities, people in power, the poorest people, the richest people, nobody is not affected by this. And I think that in the next seven days, we're going to start to see acceptance as to who we are and who you are and who other people are. Because we do, I feel as well, need to think we're not better than anybody else. And again, the strength, you will have deeper roots this week because of what's happening in the next seven days. You'll have deeper roots. And also you'll understand that some other people's roots are just not as deep as yours, but they're getting there. And it's kind of like just understanding that people are done different levels as we are occasionally. And that, you know, to welcome them when they get to that certain level or help them along. It's just something very complicated that I don't know that I have the amount of vocabulary to try and explain. But I do see that there's a lot of changes happening and it starts with you internally. It starts with your structure. It starts with your letting things go that you don't need anymore. So I seriously hope that you have a brilliant time this week and understand, you know, how things are moving towards you and how things are developing in your psychic ability how things are maybe changing on the fundamental level the deeper you go the more interesting you may find the journey you know you may actually discover something brand new about yourself the deeper you delve into this
but let me know in the comments below how things go for you I absolutely this is a new thing for me so I'm hoping that this works for you and let me know if you like this format also if you'd like to have a reading from me at any point do check the description box below for all the information there but in the meantime I hope you have the well the best week as you can <laughs> wonderful time maybe stretching it a little bit um but let me know in the comments below how things go take care of yourselves and take care of each other